Anti-Trump activists are now calling to boycott SoulCycle and Equinox after learning the owner of the Miami Dolphins, Stephen Ross, plans to host a fundraiser for uh, President Trump tomorrow out in the Hamptons. Ross is chairman of the parent company Equinox and SoulCycle, and he says in a statement, quote, I have always been an active participant in the democratic process. I have known Donald Trump for 40 years. And while we agree on some issues, we strongly disagree on many others. And I have never been bashful about expressing my opinions. I have and will continue to support leaders of both sides of the aisle to address these challenges. Lawrence Jones, editor-in-chief of Campus Reform and Fox News contributor. He's also an Equinox member. Soccer, right. So well, no, I think that you, know, you like to go to the gym. Yeah. Was it, was it less crowded today? Yeah, it actually was. You know, uh, look, I go to Equinox for one reason. It's a clean gym. That's that was the one. That's, name. that's one. It's a clean. It's the cleanest gym in town. Uh, but it's very liberal. You know, it's not like you see Fox News. You can never. No, I belong to Equinox too. And at the one I go to, the, there's never a Fox News. Right. Maybe one time. I saw it once. Sometimes in the morning they'll do it, uh, but for the most part it's very liberal. You can definitely see the political stances from the members in the gym, but that was never a problem for me because I just wanted a clean gym. At this point, what else will they boycott? It's like every single thing they don't want to do anymore. No, I was saying in the commercial break, if you're um, left of center, mm -hmm. this week you had to cancel your New York Times membership because of a headline. And now you can't go to Equinox or Soul Cycle. I mean, what's a person to do? And then the miserable. They don't like Chick Fil A, so it's right. Let's hard go out there. Every single place that I want less crowded, they're boycotting. Uh, President Trump had a the campaign had a, a tweet. They said that um, or a statement. He's a great American exercising his First Amendment right, and that's regard to Stephen Ross. Now Equinox is like, don't blame us, okay? Their statement is neither Equinox nor Soul Cycle have anything to do with the event later this week, and do not support it. As is consistent with our policies, no company profits are used to fund politicians. See, I think they could have done all of that and not said the part about and do not support it. They say we have nothing to do with it. We don't donate to politicians, but they had to like get in there. They had to, that but you know, right now during this PR them. crisis, this is what they had to do. Um, at the end of the day, I, I think it's a bad standard to set, though, that we start boycotting the fact that a member of Congress decided to do that. I think it's problematic, especially when you see on college campuses where they're doing that to conservatives kids as well. Students, right. Just like at University of Texas, they're, they're doxing Now let me show you this believe. tweet from Kenny Stills. He's with the Dolphins and he was talking about Ross's foundation and he says, you can't have a nonprofit with this mission statement, then open your doors to Trump. The nonprofit basically says they educate and empower the sports community to eliminate racial discrimination, champion social justice, and improve race relations. How, how widespread is that belief though? I, I think it's pretty well dyed into the cloth. Yeah, but it's also, I, I think people are missing the point. When businesses get involved in politics, the people that are business owners, when they're supporting, they're, they're supporting from an economic standpoint. They don't care. Like I said, the economic agenda of Equinox versus the people that are actually in Equinox, the employees, is much different. So I think... Besides, like, you know what? I, and I believe it wasn't just Equinox. It was many gyms. Right. When the tax reform bill got um, push through. Mm -hmm. A lot of these places were able to buy new equipment exactly because they right. were able to depreciate it. And, and business people will tell you all the time, the gym market is a tough market to break into and stay into. And so you, this is the Trump tax cuts that they're investing more. And he's been friends with Trump for over, over years. Three of these people that uh, Castro went against donated to Castro as well. So again, is it really a, a political thing? I don't think I've ever boycotted anything. I, I don't care enough. You know, I come there for a service. If you can do that service, then I'll support you. If you can't do that service, then I'll leave. Well, not only that, but they need to think about the people who work behind the counter, right? Mm -hmm. The people who are keeping the gym clean, the people, the employees there. There's no need to punish and, them. And those people are openly liberal, and I, I love them the same. <laughs> like, I don't care. Yeah. Well, we care about you, and guess what? I'm going to be gonna on the be, five tonight. I know you're going to be on the five. That's right going to be fun. You. How's your one more thing? It's going to be good. Because you know my advice. If you're filling in, mm -hmm. you've you got to nail your you one more thing. you got to nail it and keep it short. That's right. <laughs> you listen well. All right. Lawrence Jones, see you in a couple of hours.